What's going on everyone? I'm over here talking to Jared. We got his Nova sitting here and we're gonna try to fire it up today. He's uh, building some last minute spark plug wires and then we're gonna try to fire it up. So it's, uh, what year is this thing? 63. 63 Nova. He had a big block with a blower on it. Uh, kicked the rods out of it at Armageddon last year and he decided to go the LS route. Um, I've been talking to him about it for probably two years now. Uh, he's watched my car, kind of seen what the combo does and this is a real similar build ended up becoming a 402 has some stock uh 243 heads on it uh, 82 or 83 85 or 85 millimeter board so mine's a 408 88 with like trick flow heads otherwise it's same thing i run the stock intake he's got the holly high ram and stuff so we'll see what that does um pretty good pretty cool little deal he ended up doing exactly what I did, so no intercooler, and he's gonna run it on E98. Uh, I've seen to use it, and it works pretty well. He'll lay out a meth kit here later once we get into some more boost, but just trying to get the combo all figured out. This is the first time the car's had any EFI in it or anything, so he completely wired all that. So I'm over here to throw a base tune in it, adjust some of the parameters, and see if we can get it to fire. So. Uh, Watch along, I'll try to go over as much as I can in the computer as well to show you guys how to set up a base tune for your LS. All right, so he has a Holly Dominator in here. So what we need to do is we need to update it to V4. Uh, that's what my base tune's in is the V4 software. So we'll end up plugging it all in. And then I'll have to look back because I've only done it like twice updating ECUs and figure out the, pre uh, the steps from Holly to update the computer. All right guys, so I'm updating the software to V4 and the Dominator. Uh, something you'll have to do every time you buy a new Holly system. So give it 15 minutes and we'll start doing parameters. All right, so something you guys have to come up with is uh, like a pre-oiler for the LS. So we got it starting to pre-oil now. So go ahead and finish uh, pre-oiling it and we'll fire it. So USB. Good on leaks. So we're at 23 psi, so we need to up it. Just checking for leaks right now. Make sure that we're good on everything. I'm watching for fuel pressure. We got to set it to like 45. It's not adjusting it yet. Keep going. It's 25, 28, 30. Keep going. Keep going. 35, 37, up, 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 45, right there, 46, down just a hair, a hair, keep going, right there, okay, so now, so we're good on fuel pressure, so now, um, let's go over a few things. So with, me or with, he's with both. Okay. <laughs> so it's Dominator, just so you see. So I'm under the main tab here. Okay. And this is the ECU configuration. Dominator, yes, which it automatically picked that up when I tie it onto it. So mine has a fuel prime time wise, but yours is actually hooked up. It seems like it's on all the time, which is weird. Like mine, it would usually only go five second fuel prime, but yeah. yours stays on. So I don't know why. It's doing that unless it's because of the way you have it wired through here, you know what I mean? Once it sees ignition from this, maybe it just turns your fuel pump on. Yeah, because it's actually going... Which is fine. Okay. Because once ignition, that's like the key's on. But mine only primes for like a few seconds and then it turns off, but then it fires the fuel pump back on. Yeah, because it's not going to matter because it's a continuous circuit, so it's not yeah. like it's backing up against mm -mm. it or something. Okay. So fuel type, I leave it at gasoline because I just watched their fuel reading is all that is. Speed density, NTK, it's one sensor, right? You're not running dual. Right, two NTKs, or one, a single one, NTK. Yeah, okay. And then, so right here, system type, Holly 160s, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to grab the box for the sensor so we know what part number it is? Um, the... O2? Uh, not the NTK sensor? Yeah. No, because like right here, I already got it. NTK, okay. that's what's in mine. You only get two options, Sorry, NTK make, or Bosch. They just make me nervous with that. No, um, it, it's it's good. That's what I have. Okay. Um, so really, we could plug that in now. Um, the maximum. Huh? 
I know, huh? No, this is factory specs from 1963, correct? Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want no aftermarket crap on the 63 Nova. Exactly. <coughs> Wastegate type. It's a dual port because you set it up just like how mine is. Mm -hmm. Only other thing I need to do is I need to figure out where the setting for the map sensor is where you tell it what kind of sensor right oh, here. Yeah. right here see i have gm3 bar and then so then you have the holly mm -hmm. three or three and a half bar i mean go get the box i'm sure it's probably three bar i think it is the three bar So it should read, it was actually reading not bad actually, I think. Oh. Yeah, see, there, it shut it off. Yep, 84. Map sensor three bar. Okay. Yep. Four. It's reading right where mine always reads at 84 kPa. Okay. See, it's like 10 kPa off that sensor compared to my sensor. Do you want me to go ahead and fill the bowls up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give it a little spray. I'm going to leave pretty much my exact tune in it and see if it'll fire. Okay. And then I'll, I'll go back and pull some timing and some stuff so it's not so aggressive for the first few hits in the car. Okay. Um, so we can actually motor start. That's your starter? Mm-hmm. So let's verify we got uh, oil pressure. So okay. see, I'll watch right here. Okay. I don't need ignition on, right? Yeah, you got to have it to, it'll start if it doesn't. Right, I if I leave ignition off, it won't fire. Mm -mm. No, it won't fire. So we can just, just check in for uh, oil pressure. Mm-hmm. Leak. That maybe that's why we don't have oil pressure. Yeah, that needs to be tightened. What's that about? That's why we don't have oil pressure. Uh, we have a leak, but I don't think it's because of that. Well, is it right by the sensor right there? Yeah. Oh, we're not. We don't. You have. You're using the Holly Hundred PSI thing for oil right. pressure, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I need to change that too in here. Coolant temp is still GM. Manifold air temp. Right there, tighten that fitting. Is these two go together? GM, I believe. It's I'll verify with him. Oil pressure right, right here. Huh? Holly 100 yeah, PSI switch. So now that should read good. Fuel pressure. Holly. So that's all good. Is your manifold air temperature a GM? The manifold air temp you're using? It's a GM sensor too, right? This one back here? Or no? The temp sensor. The, uh, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. So now we got that set and hopefully the leak's taken care of. Are you gonna fire? No, I'm gonna uh, check for oil pressure again. Just have to. Oh, you know what? That's why it wasn't showing it to me. So I have to have your ignition on to have the dominator on. Right, that's what I was... So that's why it won't show me. Well, yep, I guess we'll try to fire it. Get your phone ready. <sighs> So see, in the hall, you can go to this big gauge view. Oh, where you cool. see everything. So I'm going to go USB. You ready? Oh, yeah. Cool, it kicks it off. Yeah, I'm going to check one more thing. I don't know if I forget. File save as Jared's tune. <laughs> Jared's jalopy. It probably won't fire right away, but... I had a little bit there, I went to 
two pounds of oil pressure. I need to watch that and then uh, fuel pressure, oil pressure. Where's my fuel pressure at? Oh, right here. Fuel pressure, oil pressure. to set the uh, TPS sensor. Oh, so it's not, so it yeah. wasn't reading. That might be part of it. That's what it did on another car I did. You gotta always set that, I always forget, but it's like the one thing you do when you first initially do everything. Then TPS sets, then it knows. Fine, we just gotta get it to take. Just gotta get her to take now. What do you mean by take? Just fire. Oh. This should be should be giving us a little bit, but let's see. Cause see if whenever I crank it, if it uh Come up? No no. If the fuel pump runs. It well it does because it's giving us oil fuel pressure, so we're okay. TPS set now. 
you're gonna have see the condensation is blowing out of there too right i mean it's just gonna oh that's all your heat wrap that's what i'm smelling yep. yeah it's breaking the heat wrap and i forgot that that stuff smokes for so freaking long i thought my car was on fire the first time i drove with the new exhaust on it it was terrible some gears yeah see what it does. let me adjust this real quick yeah no problem. to 80 and I at idle. So by me putting uh, 80 in here to let it learn up to 80% instead of where I had it at zero for my car, it wouldn't adjust at idle at all. Oh, okay. Um, actually, I don't even know if I want yours to really adjust it. It will only go like 15, maybe 20%. We'll see if it likes it or not. It's okay, it's ignition on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just start it? Yep. And then let off? Mm hmm Alright guys, so that's it for today. Um, Jared's going to fix a few little last things on the car, get it ready to go for a drive, um, and then I'll be back. I'm going to come back over, we're going to go over some things uh, and take the car for a drive, work some bugs out, and get him a good little bass driving tune, probably uh, work our way up to wastegate, and then we'll finish hooking up the boost controller and all of that. So if you guys enjoyed the episode here, please like and subscribe below. If you're on Facebook, make sure you like the uh, Build Tune Race Facebook page. And if you have any questions or you want to see some more, maybe uh, you want me to get more in depth on some of the tuning with the Holly, uh, setting up bass tunes, all that, I'd like to do some more how-tos on that as well. So if that's what you'd like to see, please let me know. Thanks.